hey, I'm sitting here reading a Julie Gishiro's comment to Justice Joaquin Dongo just standing by her. And I need to let you know here and now, I'm with her. Not just with Julie Gishiro, but I'm also with Joki. And this is because, yes, number one, we are Loreto girls. We are tough like that. We are in your face like that. We are trailblazers like that. And we also understand we make you uncomfortable. But I, I want to step away from the, oh, you know, we awesome girls. Can we all be very honest? And actually, the moment I saw the legal case that had been filed against uh, Justice Doki Dongo, I was like, hmm, I hope they're taking issue with her judgment because it would be nice to know what they have to say. And then I realized, no, actually, they're not taking issue with her judgment. It is another case of Auntie Caroline. I tell you, she made me feel bad. Like, really? And, and by the way, just in case you don't know, um, a 411 for you, Jockey is my girl, which means you can come after her with everything you got. I'll still be standing right next to her. I will, okay? But let's all be honest about why she makes us uncomfortable. And it doesn't matter whether you are Nassau Jubilee. Jockey is very long, long reading of her ruling on her birthday unveiled our sloppiness. Let me say this. We are sloppy. My fellow Kenyans, we are sloppy. She didn't just unveil the sloppiness in her colleagues, in the manner in which certain things were done, and in the manner she chose to do certain things. She just didn't unveil our sloppiness in the time and the detail in which she took to read her judgment. And you can tell she wrote hers. What Jockey did is make all of us realize, and none of us wants to say it, is that we're sloppy. We're a sloppy people. Let me start with the sloppiness at the right place. IBC, the reason we're in this mess is sloppiness. It is not caring about detail. And that includes every returning agent. It's very easy to decide we're gonna go after Chebukati and Chiloba and I don't know who. We're sloppy, okay? The reason Uhuru finds himself in this mess is sloppiness on behalf of his team. Epic sloppiness. The reason Ryla finds himself here and found himself going to a Supreme Court he had already said he had no faith in was sloppiness on the part of his team. The reason all of us are here, tired, we're so tired if you hear the word election one more time, we just might hurt somebody, is because we are a sloppy people. Detail irritates us so much. It, it actually could make somebody punch another. The minute we're told you'll be streamlined this way, this needs to be done this way, in fact, there's two things we say. And the other one we love to say is, the CEO of Kenya Airways actually called it out. He said that consistently since he came to this country, he was told, this is Africa, this is the African way of doing things. We don't do things like this in Africa. To which he said, and rightfully so, there's only a right way and a wrong way to do things. There is no other way. And if you actually go and look at some of the numbskulls who've commented, when I actually shared that particular quote on my Facebook page, they're like, yes, but you know, us guys are Africans. And no, we're Kenyan, we're African, is an excuse to do things poorly. We're sloppy, my fellow Kenyans. And it's something we all individually need to look at, each and every one of us. Because most of the times when we get caught out, it's sloppiness. And then we get really aggrieved because we've been anuliwad. And I totally understand these people who have decided to sue Justice Ndoki Ndomo. It is a fact of she hurt my feelings. I don't have a problem with her judgment. In fact, her dissenting ruling is fantastic. But she made you look and feel bad. And I get it. I absolutely do. But maybe you need to ask yourself, why didn't you have the same passion and commitment to detail, even with your winning ruling? This isn't about jockey. Jockey is awesomeness personified, and then we who are part of her awesomeness just love her for it, okay?
This is about the fact that we've been called out for being sloppy. And my fellow Kenyans, let me say it again. We were sloppy at the Supreme Court. We were sloppy at the IABC. Uhuru's team was sloppy. And by the way, I understand he's angry. I would, he campaigned, he did his job. Why didn't everybody else do theirs? Ryla has every right to be upset. He did his job at his age. He got up every day and campaigned and told Vitenda willies and stories. What the, what the hell were the rest of you doing? We're in this mess because we are sloppy. Let's accept it. And those taking Jockey to court also need to accept it. She made you feel good. Auntie Caroline, she hurt my feelings. Yeah, I know. Now go to bed. Take care. Subscribe. <laughs>